Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Place Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Today we're gonna go into options and I'm gonna do lower, not the risky, I'm gonna lower it, uh, I guess I'll try normal first instead of hard and see where that goes. I don't wanna, I was gonna completely lower it to safety, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I got extremely uh, salty at the game last episode. Um, generally speaking, I try not to get, you know, mad at video games unless it's kind of funny or deserved. Uh, but yeah, no, the game got me good last time. I decided to take a couple days off so I didn't end up hating the game. I learned that lesson when I, uh, when I played the first Mass Effect. I, uh, I forced myself to play that game and I ended up hating it at the end. And apparently, uh, a lot of people love that game, so I kind of... I actually might want to revisit that someday, actually, to play it at my own le leisurely pace to see if I actually enjoy it instead of getting frustrated and just forcing myself to play it to the end because I paid full price for it. That's besides the point. Anyways. Well, he didn't start off with a giant attack, so that's good. I mean, okay, you hit me with that, sure. I don't know what that meant, but okay. Ow, stop it. Well, he's doing a lot less damage, so that's good. It has been a few days, actually, so my controls... Oh my god. Okay, I didn't block that. But he's a little bitch on normal mode. I mean, he's still gonna beat me. Obviously. But at the same time... Oh, nice. Stop that. Stop that. I feel once I get the hang of the controls again... I mean, it's been like... It's been like four days, I'm not gonna lie. How? Why am I not blocking that? He's not using the giant fuck you laser either? That's good. Okay, I'm dead. That laser attack he does, the one that he can just occasionally spam, um, just occasionally spam one after the other, the one that takes like 75, 80% of your health, is kind of insane. Oh, blocked it that time, bitch. Oh, that time, too! Welcome to the block party! Hosted by J-Lo. What's she up to these days? I'm assuming she still does music. That does so little damage on normal! Oh, this is fantastic. I actually feel better about this. And, like, generally speaking, I think, uh, I'm assuming this is the final boss, yeah? The final boss, it should be hard. I think my biggest complaint about that last boss fight, oh, got me with the backswing there, was the laser beam that I could never block. I, I blocked it like, what? oh my god, I blocked it like once or twice, uh, nah. and the other times it just literally did 75 to 80% of my health, like straight up. And that was the biggest frustrating point. What power is this? It's the power of normal mode! Power alone. They are not the best me. Yeah, like, I, I like challenge. You just go watch, like, some of uh, the, like, Dark Souls series, or, like, even the God of War, and I played it on challenge mode. I do like challenge, but if, if something's happened in the game where it makes me think that it's just cheap and just made the frustrate me... Like, a beam attack that I can't seem to block that does 80% of my health that he can spam. That, that frustrates me. Now, you can block it. My skill level was just not high enough to block it all the time. And I'm sure there's, like, the blue bar. I'm sure if, you, like, you have a bolt blue bar and you block it twice, it's gonna actually do the damage. I'm not sure how that works, to be quite honest. Um, but, yeah, any, aside from, like, one or two times, which I got lucky with the laser. Locking just never happened, and after oh, a while, after a while, my brain was like, you oh, know, this is the cheapest goddamn fight I've ever had. And it just started pissing me off. That's when you take a break. That's when you take a break and come back in a few days. Kinokagutsuchi. That's what holds you back. That is a big name. The power I wield. The power we wield. It will never succumb to someone like you. Silence pest. I will not lose. You already lost. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, yeah, sure, maybe. But you want to fight me with my teammates at my side? Because we'll beat you down. Uh, 
The dude's giant arm swings up high into the sky. This isn't good. If this place takes a direct hit from that enormous thing, never mind sweeping me off my feet, it could destroy this entire tower. That we, that, uh, what, what with all the quaking. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I thought he said quacking. Is that a Dachi? Hi, Dachi. Copycat. I guess you got yours first, though, right? <laughs> Faster than I can call my persona, the other Izanagi flies towards uh, Kagatsuchi from behind, slashing at its giant arm and knocking it back. Dachi-san? <sighs> what are you doing? I set everything up perfect for you, and you still didn't finish it off before I woke up. It's what I do. The way he scratches his head and rolls his eyes, without a doubt, that's the Adachi-san I know. Did he save me? Up until now, he's just uh, he's just dropped hints at for us here and there, never doing anything to help us out directly. Seeing me surprised at this small change, noticeably only noticeable only to those who know him, Adachi frowns, uh, furrows his brow. He he's he's displeased in an ever so slightly embarrassed way. What are you spacing out for? I don't have time to waste either. So let's hurry up and put it into this. I mean, are you on? Oh, okay, yeah. I guess if you like, this goes on any longer. The world will end, right? I was gonna say, aren't you like? Life sentence, jail time. Right. I would imagine you are. I can feel it. The two Izanagis respond to each other and melt into one. I've never felt this fusion of conflicting powers before. They eventually coalesce into a sword, which launches itself towards the Hino Kagatsuchi's enormous roaring form. Izanagi! Nagatsu Izanagi! The giant sword, formed with the two torrent of, po of power pieces, uh, pierces he uh, Hino Kagutsuchi and disperses his body into fragments. Hino Kagutsuchi, it's over! Roar! I'm assuming this episode's not gonna be like seven minutes long. There was like four. Ooh, anime! That looks like it hurts. Okay, say it with me now. Friendship is magic. Like doubly so in JRPGs. Like quadruple so so like so in anime. After Hino Kagasushi's body crumbles away, the red fog disappears little by little from our sight, and the area is covered in silence. The night sky turns back to its usual color with a beautiful moon shining in the sky. Sincere congratulations on winning the P1 Grand Prix. Hi, Elizabeth. The sudden voice surprises me, and I turn around. Standing right there is a woman in deep azure colored clothes. Adachi sounds nowhere to be seen. Elizabeth? What are you doing here? Did you eat a dachi? So what you just defeated now was different in form. It appeared to be another embodiment of man's consciousness that wishes for death. Woo. And suffice to say, I had my own reason to witness its end. It's a kink. Your own reason, huh? That is correct. I don't really get it, but she probably means that she came to witness Hino Kagosusi's end. It's fine since it's over now, but couldn't she at least helped out a bit? I mean, she helped Risei. Not that I've ever said anything like that. Not like I'd ever say anything like that to her face. She probably wouldn't even get it. I heard, I've heard before that Elizabeth has her own wish, that trying to grant it was why she left the room. Maybe she's cooperating with us in her own way. By the by, this tower will disappear momentarily. Huh? That's right! I completely forgot about that. Uh, this tower is a transient thing that appeared in the red fog, and now that the fog's gone, this place is gonna go back to its usual self. A yes, got me high. Can I ask a favor, Elizabeth? Hmm, a favor? Depending on what you ask, I'll have to demand payment. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> can you please send all my friends in this tower somewhere safe? Uh -huh. If that is all you ask, it's as easy to grant as having an orange at a Kotatsu. I don't know what that means, but sure. You've actually used a Kotatsu? No, it was merely a figure of speech. I've never so much as seen a Kotatsu. Oh, the blanket thing, right? The heater blanket? Yeah. Very well, then. 
I will transport your friends. With like a table in the middle of it? Oh. Where would this somewhere safe be? Ah, oh, yes, the perfect place has occurred to me. I shall send you all there. Ah, I wish she knew I wish she wouldn't decide things like that on her own. It'd be nice to if she just tell me where she's going to send us. I assume in the velvet room. She just sends us all to the moon and we just die. Before <laughs> that would actually be hilarious. But before I can ask you, she raises her hand and my vision fills with such brightness that the font color changes. Wait, where is she sending us? Well then you. Hasta la vista, baby. Until the day we meet again. Farewell. Bye. I feel like she should have said pasta la vista, baby. To make it more comedic. Uh, investigation complete. I was gonna say, there gotta be like a little bit more because there was a few left. So let's go ahead and continue that. I guess we'll end it today too. Though I'm assuming there's something else. I think there was a comment saying that I should choose the other option as well. So there's probably a branch of path there. I just bit my tongue. Oh, God. It's been a while since I did that. Uh, yeah, there's probably a branching path there. The light slowly dims and my vision returns. Oh, it's the TV world. I'm indeed standing in a safe place. The studio and the TV world. It's a relief to look around and see everyone else here, too. They all look confused as to what happened, but when I approach them, they break into a smile and congratulate me on the victory. You know, seeing everyone in one place like this, we've got quite the crowd together. Well that is an understatement. Coming. I'm sorry for the trouble we caused. No, we owe you too. Thank you for stopping the shadows. Akiyo-san comes up from behind and nudges my shoulder. When I look towards him, he smirks in that dauntless way. I wish I could have gone to the top myself. But I'll let you take the glory this time. Yeah, this time. Thank you, Akihiko-san. I hear a fuss then and look towards the exit from this world at the center of the studio. Everyone is gathered around the stacked up TVs. Wondering what this is all about, we head over. My guy keeps saying, this is my world. You have to go through this TV to get out to your world, Junpei. Huh? We go through a TV to get out of the TV? Come on, Blue Daruma, quit kidding around. Oh, right. Though those three weren't, well, four weren't here. It's for real. But, huh. Now that you mention it, that is kind of weird, isn't it? Going into a TV leads you out of the TV? Yeah, I just always assumed the TV was just like a metaphor for like a portal gate. Because it is a portal gate. It's complicated for. It's fine. The TVs are connected. These things only get confusing because you overthink them. I don't believe this. Look, you just gotta show him. It seems Teddy and the others are trying to explain about the TV world to the, to the Shadow Operatives we've just met today. Ikari-san and Kenkun seem to somewhat understand, but Junpei-san just isn't getting it, and Teddy and Yosuke are having a hard time explaining it to him. And then again, Junpei-san might be too distracted with the shock of seeing Kanji stick his hand, oh, head into the TV right next to him. What Dude, what are you doing? Whoa, crap! Kanji quickly pulls out of the TV and stumbles backwards. Unfortunately, right behind him were Teddy and Jupe, watching a little too closely. What was that? The back of Kanji's head hits Teddy's face, and the back of... Teddy's head directly hits Junpei's face. The force of the, of the hit causes Junpei-san to go rolling all the way to the edge of the studio. I wonder if he's okay. Stupid Kanji, that hurt! Don't you know the saying, a head in motion tends to stay in motion? Shut up, it's your fault for rubbernecking. When I stuck my head out, I saw a security guard making the rounds. Huh? <laughs> Junpei, why are you sleeping on the floor? Just when we were trying to explain things Oh, you knocked his ass out. <laughs> Teddy, that's not right. If I had to pick sides, I'd say Junpei was clearly the victim right now. Hey, wait a sec. Kanji-kun, did you just say there was a guard out there? Huh? Yeah. So? Then the town's back to normal. The people who disappeared must be safe now, right? Oh, that's right! Good job, Junpei. You did great! Junpei didn't do anything. Uh, I'm 
not sure what I had to do with it. Yeah. All right, it finally feels like we won. We saved the town our very own selves. Again. We did it. Like the third time? A cheer erupts from all my friends on the investigation team at once. Seeing us in high spirits, the shadow operators also come forward and join us as we all congratulate each other on the brave fight. I'm so glad I was able to protect my friends. <laughs> I sense someone looking at me, and when I turn around, I see a figure watching. Oh, it's going to be show, isn't it? Watching us from a distance. That red hair, that uniform jacket tied around his waist, the sword in each hand. That's... Show. Everyone turns around. That was the sound of people turning around. Everyone turns around at this and tenses up. But Sho doesn't say anything. He just points the tip of his blade he's holding at me. That's... He must mean that he'll come challenge me to a fight again someday. Come at us however many times you want. But next time, we'll fight one-on-one. -on -one, fair and square. Again. And I'll kick your ass. Again. Both of your asses. For a brief instant, it looks like as if Sho's mouth forms a smile. It doesn't last long, though, because he turns to run and quickly disappears. Uh, was I seeing things? No, I doubt it. That boy. So he survived. We're just leaving him in the TV world? Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess his other half could use a persona to get out of here. But also, here's the thing. We're just letting him go? <laughs> Why? Yes. Regrettably, he is a serious criminal who tried to destroy the world. Yeah! I cannot leave him be. Yeah! I understand. But I won't be so stubborn this time. I ask that you all cooperate with us in capturing Minazuki. You! Me and you, we've been together. You might have had a different name before, but we've been together for a long time. You should know to go for the knees! <laughs> I'm honestly surprised at this. Uh, after the P1 Grand Prix came to a close, Mitsuru-san clearly told us not to get involved in any further and rejected all of our authors to help. I understand that she did it so not to drag us into anything dangerous, but we decided to save Sho. Mitsuru-san must have come to understand our feelings and included us in the search for him. Sho's never had a chance to interact with people. He has no idea how. I mean... Trying the end of the world is not a good start. So we'll fight him as many times as it takes, explaining our true feelings to him each time, that we want to arrest him and put him in jail for the rest of his life. We'll do it over and over until it sinks in that what it means to be get involved with people, which is a life sentence, possibly on de death row, depending on if he killed anyone. That didn't seem like he did. As long as Sho, and, uh, as long as Sho keeps trying for us, I'll answer him with all my strength. In a way, my answer is already decided. Yes, of course. With that, the members of the US engagement team who seem to have been listening chime in from behind me. Leave it to me. My persona's gotten real strong. I'll find that show in no time so Senpai can breathe easier. That reminds me. That dude was wearing our uniform. I guess we should start by beating the crap out of everyone at school? Yeah! No violence yet, Kanji-kun. An investigation must be carried out based on thorough examination and confirmed evidence. And then you beat the hell out of him. Hmm? Was he wearing our uniform? I didn't notice at all. Look, Yukio, y'all have like weird different uniforms aside from like one emblem somewhere. I remember Minnie's smell too. <laughs> he can run, but he can't hide from Teddy's nose. Dude, will you stop giving everyone and everything those weird nicknames? Nah, go for it. Does your nose even work anymore? You've been sneezing this whole time. Probably they gotta hurt the sinus canals, right? <laughs> Cavities, canals. <laughs> was because of the red fog. It was filled with a terrible curse and curses don't exist. Although, given what Kagutsuchi was after, I suppose it Naruto, did have an effect of that. You've been truth. cursed. Well, I guess it's called fear in this game. I was gonna say. Uh, why are we so scatterbrained? Can't you guys stay on one topic for ten seconds? No. Oh, sheesh. Good. It's like always. I can't help but smile and join in with everyone. I'm not alone. Even if it turns out that I uh, it turns out I have to fight show again, my friends and I will handle it. We're the investigation team, after all. Credits? Uh, no more text. When we return to the TV world. Or from the TV world, an utterly mundane world is waiting for us. Woo mundane. 
As we stand around in the quiet dawn at June S before it opens, Yosuke looks around at the eyebrow raising outfits of the shadow operatives. I think I'll not tell anyone about him signaling. Thank goodness we came at this hour. Then again, I'm at a loss for what to do when we go to Yosogami High, closed for the holiday, to see Mitsuru sign off, and a pitch black military hel helicopter lands on the grounds. After seeing them all off, we return to the empty pre dawn food court and take our usual seats. <sighs> Sitting here makes it feel like I'm really back. <laughs> Indeed. It seems that for now the case is closed. Man, that guy sure gave us some grief. Wasn't the world on the brink of ending? Mm-hmm. Although, I felt a bit sorry for him. I mean, yeah, he had a messed up past. Kinda stopped feeling sorry for him when he tried the end of the world, though. Huh? For who? You can't even figure that out? She's talking about how Sho probably didn't want to turn out that way. Well, sure. Yeah, he's a really clumsy kid. <laughs> I keep thinking about how similar I was, you know? You were... Tested on your entire childhood and like locked away? According to Mitsuru san, ever since Ikutsuki abandoned Sho, he was left for dead in the hospital's care. I surmise that is where he learned of Ikutsuki's death and later heard this plan's proposal for Minazuki. That reminds me, that thing that showed up at the end. Hino Kagutsuchi, right? What was that thing really? Yeah, it said it was born when this town was enshrouded in fog. And that's not all. It was all over my fuzzy head, but what was that collective will of so-and-so part about? I guess it was formed from the hearts of people who only think about themselves, never caring what happens to others. I guess yeah, one way to put it. When the fog covered this town last time, the hearts of people who only cared about their own safety gathered and formed that Hino Kagutsuchi. That's a sad way to be. I wonder why some people think like that. It's easier. Well, there's nothing we can do about it except to do our best. By the way, partner. Yeah? Did you see Adachi up there? What happened to him in the end? Oh, yeah. No way! Adachi-san? What? Why stick the honorifics? <laughs> bastard was here? Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, yeah, I didn't I hadn't told everyone yet. But by the time I turned around after defeating H Hino Kazusutsi, uh, Dachstan was already nowhere to be seen, but... Don't worry about him. He'll obey the rules. No one asks any more questions after that. None of us say as much, but there's a strange kind of trust we have about Adachi-san, who told us that he obeyed the rules of this world. And in this case, at least Adachi-san was true to his word. Alright then, let's go home. But man, some long holiday this turned out to be. I know, right? Seriously, you couldn't came to visit and we didn't get to talk at all. <laughs> we just get to punch yeah. each other a lot. But now that it's all over, I think I had fun. <laughs> ah! Yuki-chan, have you turned to violence? I think she has. Oh, uh, thinking back on it, I did see some dangerously scary faces from you. When she juggled my ass for like an hour. Teddy, would you like to see me angry? Ah, there! That's exactly what I'm talking about! As someone understand what Yukiko-senpai means, despite the lost time, we've gathered as a group again. I'm glad for that much. We all silently nod in agreement to this. Once today is over, we'll return to our normal lives and walk our own paths. Even then, someday, no matter when it may be... Yosuke-senpai, I'm hungry. Can we go grab a bite yet? <laughs> Scale treat, of course. Yeah, of course. I'm not treating anyone. The store's not even open. So free food. We treat you guys every time. <sighs> Things really haven't changed at all. Oh, senpai, look. What? I look to where Rise is pointing and see the sun starting to rise from far beyond the town. Those thick thunderclouds that had covered Inaba yesterday seem to have disappeared along with the fog. Let's go, everyone. And it's going to be some nice weather in Inaba today. Hey, 
And I'm actually going to end it here because I didn't know the next part was going to go that long. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to get my videos so I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.